Hi, welcome to Crisco for you too. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving and now we're moving on into Christmas. But I wanted to come to you and do a little quick side dish that I think you're really going to enjoy. Now today I'm going to serve this with my baked chicken. This is called steamed spicy cabbage and carrots. Steamed spicy cabbage and carrots. So let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need to make this great side dish. You're going to need, of course, the carrot, the cabbage the carrots, onion, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, salt, red pepper, ground red pepper, allspice. If you don't have allspice, you can use, use nutmeg. I've tried this with nutmeg, and it's really good that way as well. Minced garlic. Of course, you're going to need chicken broth, but I'm going to use the broth that comes from my baked chicken. If I need a little bit more, then I'll add this chicken broth, but you can just use chicken broth. And you're going to need bacon. Now, you're going to need crispy bacon. So I'm going to fry this bacon up, go away, get all of this cut up. It's really a fast dish once you get past all the cutting up and preliminaries. So I'm going to go away, get myself ready, and I will meet you at the stove. Be right back. Okay, now I'm at my stove. This is, I heated up or I made crispy four slices of bacon. And this is the drippings from the bacon. Okay, so that's what we're going to use to saute up the, the rest of the vegetables because we're going to pick up the flavor that comes from the bacon as we saute up. Now, this is a very big skillet, and I'm really thinking about selling this skillet on my site because I think that it would be a good investment for anybody. This is a 14-inch and that's oversized because you normally don't get 14 inches. But anyway, that is the, I've already put in the onions. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the green peppers. And I did strip, uh, slice them. And I'm going to add my red peppers, which I did the same way. Now, I'm going to saute this up for a few minutes and about two minutes so after it sautes for about two minutes i'm going to bring you back and move on with the process You'll be right okay back. now this is sauteed up for a while and i'm going to go ahead and add the garlic to this now garlic is a fast cooking fast burning uh ingredient so i don't want to allow that to happen now while that's cooking and like I told you, you can do it. You can use a pot with this. I'm using this pan. I'm going to move all of my vegetables over to the side, and I'm going to add a little bit of my cabbage and a little bit of my carrots. Now I grated the carrots because they will cook a whole lot faster, and cabbage is a fast cooking vegetable. So you don't you want this cabbage to be crisp. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook up a little bit of this along with the carrots that I've grated in order to put my seasonings in. Now why am I doing it this way? Because I'm gonna have when I put all of my seasonings in, then I'm gonna mix carrots, cabbage, carrots, cabbage, so you can get the full taste of what it is that I'm doing. I had a little bit of garlic left and I just wanted to clean that out. So, now I'm going to add, this is one teaspoon of salt. This is a half teaspoon of allspice. And like I said, you can use, I've done this with, with nutmeg, and it's real good with nutmeg. So, you can do it with nutmeg as well. And to give it just a little bit of a kick, this is a fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper, ground red pepper. Now, you can add more. If you want more spice, add more. But because mine has to be kid-friendly, I'm not adding a lot of spice. Now, I'm going to move this to the side, and I'm going to start to incorporate my cabbage. Yeah, 
there is some cabbage to that I'm going to add some grated carrots now if you don't fine mince your carrots or you don't grate them it's going to take a long time for your cabbage to cook I'm sorry if you don't grate your carrots or you don't fine chop your carrots it's going to take them a long time to cook which means that they will cook a whole lot faster than your cabbage would and that you don't want to do now I'm taking and putting The part that I cooked up, I'm putting it over the top of the part that I didn't cook in order for me to get the rest of my cabbage in here. Okay. Okay. Now once I get that all in, and I don't have a top for this pan, so I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. Now this was one head of cabbage. So I had one cup of carrots, one head of cabbage to go in with that. Now I'm going to stir this a couple of times before it's completed the cooking process. But I'll bring it back once it's all done. Now I told you I was baking chicken, so this is my leftover uh, juices from my chicken that I'm baking. And it looks, it looks a little bit dark because I used thyme into the chicken that I baked. Or I'm baking in the oven. Okay, so... I've added that. Now I'm going to add my bacon. And I'm going to take, I'm going to add just a little bit more of the um, chicken broth. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because I didn't have, I wanted to add one cup of broth and I didn't have quite one cup in the broth that I took out of the chicken. So now I'm going to cover my pan with some foil and allow this to cook only 15 minutes. That's it. And at the end of 15 minutes this will be done. So what I'll do is I'll bring it back and I'll let you see it be back Okay in now we're minutes. back and the cabbage is done so just want to show you what it looks like. There it is. Okay, this is, you can see everything. You can see the vegetables, you can see the bacon, uh, the flavors mixed up very, very well. I do want to tell you that I did add a little bit more of the um, allspice, and I added a little bit more of the red pepper, because I decided that I wanted a little bit more of a kick than it was in it. So I will list that in the description box. I'm not going to dish up a plate, because I'm still waiting on my potatoes to get done but i will post a plate of how i served it up i'll post it at the end of this video okay just want to bring you something fast and easy you know during the holiday season i think that that little kick is going to be all we need for this cold weather and as always thank you for watching chris cook for you too bye